Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich. Everyone back to work and school today after the long holiday weekend. We'll start with a quick weather update today. If you're going to be out and about, you might notice, first of all, it's kind of cloudy again today. We've got these low clouds and kind of foggy conditions and drizzly. These clouds are going to what we call kind of burn off. They're going to mix out later this afternoon uh, as the sun is already out in many locations across the foothills, the Piedmont, and parts of Midlands of South Carolina. What we're keeping an eye on, though, is that we've got a lot of moisture coming in from the coast, and this moisture is going to be pulling in a lot more humidity and the chance for scattered showers, which will be rotating through throughout the afternoon hours. And I do think we'll see an isolated shower here and there, but expect a mixture of sun and clouds and really hot and humid. What's really interesting right now is you notice this little spin over Tallahassee. This is pretty easy to see. There's a little area of low pressure, and this looks to be moving to the north. And this little weak spin might actually help bring us some showers maybe tomorrow into Thursday. Let me show you what that looks like on the model data. Watch down here over the Florida Panhandle. This is the NAM4 model, we call it. It's a high-resolution, short-range model. Watch this little spin coming up through Georgia and then heading our way into the Western Carolinas uh, by late tomorrow into Thursday. Again, not a lot of rain with it, but combined with the cold front, which is sweeping in from the north and west, might help out squeeze, squeeze more showers out during the day tomorrow and especially into Thursday. Now, speaking of that cold front, let me show you the temperatures again, and I'm going to turn on our model data, and I'll show you. See how warm it is here across the southeastern United States? Look at this cool down over the northern Rockies, the central Rockies this morning. Temperatures in the 20s and 30, so there's real signs that we're going to see a cool down later this week. You notice early in the week, we've got these temperatures mid to upper 80s, even pushing 90 by Thursday, but then that downhill slide in temperatures as that cold front moves through. So if you can just hold it out, if you like autumn weather, we are going to see some cooler weather moving into the Carolinas, but for the next couple of days, it's all about the muggies as it's going to be hot and humid with a chance of showers through Thursday. Hope you have a great day. And of course, I'm off today, so you won't see me at 4, 5, and 6, but make sure you follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll keep you updated throughout the afternoon at 24-7 online at WCNC.com. Have a great Tuesday.